Hello and welcome to the Stover Farm Channel. It's really nice to have you here with me. It's a weekend, a relaxed Sunday, and I want to build something, but nothing huge. This isn't going to take hours, uh, but we have got to take my barn and turn it into the proper man cave slash car area uh, that it should be because, you know, I like my cars. I brought over some from Convoy, Ohio. Well, let's be honest, I completely bought everything else here. Uh, kept the GNX, love this car. Got rid of the Z06 Corvette and traded it for a Trans Am. It's got some WS6 wheels on it, but it is a Trans Am. Uh, special car. This original owner sent this to Lingenfelter Performance Engineering in Decatur, Indiana. Uh, shortly after buying it, it's got a pretty mild 383 build in it. Uh, but if you remember Lingenfelter from the day, it's a running son of a gun and super, super reliable. What else did I had? Oh yeah, I had an SN95 Mustang. I've traded it for this lifted truck. It's just cool. I like it. Uh, not really practical. It's too nice to use on the farm, but what the heck? We got to have toys. And then Meg, well, she still got her GMC Suburban. Oh, I guess it's a Chevrolet. No, I made it a GMC. I think you've got options to make this a Chevrolet or a GMC. Uh, and she's tired of parking outside, so we need to get the GNX out of the garage and into my garage. So what are we going to do? Well, we've got to be careful because I only have $1.6 million. We mentioned in a previous episode that I can't go into Easy Dev and add any more funding. Uh, so this is what I've got. This is like fun money that I'm spending. And we are going to use mods that you actually have to buy from the store. They're free to get uh, from Mafia Mods. And you can find them on uh, their itch.io. I believe they have one of those King's Mods, their far, uh, a Facebook uh, site. Check them out, Mafia Mods. They've got a ton of stuff, hand tools, garage objects, stuff that you definitely need uh, for your garage parts. We've got small block Chevys. It's awesome. It's stuff we need. So right now, I want a workbench. So we're going to come into their garage objects pack and we're going to take a look at the benches. Now what you've got to do with this, you've got to find what you want, you got to buy it, and then you got to use easy dev, uh, you know, power tools, something that you can lift these with because they're quite heavy. So let's grab that. That's a welding table. Love that. We need a welder, 1500 bucks. What should we do, Lincoln or Miller? I think I'll go Miller. Uh, okay, got that, got it. Uh, then we need a couple other tables. Let's buy a few of these. These aren't too expensive, don't tell Meg. Uh, 700 bucks, yeah, it's not gonna take a ton out of my budget. What else do we want? Oh, I gotta have a compressor. We need to save room. Do I go with this small? No, I don't do that. We've got 220 power in the barn, so let's grab an IR uh, compressor. Love that. Beautiful. What else should we buy? Drill press. Oh, you got to have a drill press. Let's make that red. Oh, I don't like that red. I want just... There we go. We'll take that. We buy that. Um, yeah, we need a press. I mean, every good garage needs a press. Let's make that... Kind of a stainless color, got it. Um, probably don't need a lathe, although that would be cool. Blast cabinet, not realistic for my size of a garage. I used to have a garage cart, but I think I've had issues with that cart, so I'm not going to install or add that. Uh, for whatever reason, I think it floats. I've got one of the older versions of this pack. I think they've got a newer one out now. We need a shelf of stuff. So let's get this. It's nicely stocked. What do we have here? We got some uh, brake clean, penetrant, a WD 40, starter fluid. We got everything you need. Uh, and I like just a simple black color on that. We got mobile. We got my mobile. Yeah. Oh, we got tons of different oils. Let's buy that. Yes. Oh, and you can buy this stuff individually too. Like if you wanted to do some really cool role playing. I know we've, we've talked about this pack before, but. It's nice to check it out again and just see uh, how you can make a custom shop or barn 
uh, with all of it. Uh, what else do we want? Don't need any of that. Let's dump out here. I think we need a jack. This is an operational jack too, which is really, really cool. What color do we want? Um, let's go red, sure. Got that. Do I need a hand dolly? No, probably not. Let's grab an engine stand though, because inevitably I'm gonna blow something up. So we need an engine stand. Kind of liking the red theme for this. So we'll do that there. And what I'm doing is I'm just buying all this stuff. We'll go and uh, move it into the garage here. Oh, so shortly. What should we get? Uh, I need to buy an engine to put on that stand because yes, you can buy an engine and you can put it on the stand. So let's put a, kind of like those valve covers. Those are pretty cool. Oh, Morosa. Oh, Chevrolet. Hmm, I might have to go Chevrolet. Block color. I think the original, some of these were orange. Uh, and then we're gonna go with just standard black valve cover. There we go. That is spectacular. Really, really good deal for a full rotating assembly at $100. I like that. And let's buy a bottle of nitrous. We might put that in my truck. Nothing crazy here. Let's go with good old we'll go Nitrous Express. Let's buy that. There we go. And here we have it. All of it is right here. Unfortunately, I'm using, uh, you know, the store deliveries. That was eleven thousand dollars. Don't tell. Don't tell Meg. Don't tell Meg. Okay. She's gonna want a new vehicle at some point because that '89. Silverado is getting a little long in the tooth. Now, here's what we got to do. So we don't really have to go into um, the build mode at all. We just turn super strength on, and now we walk in and we start moving things where the heck we want them. So I think in here, I'm going to make this a kind of a bay over here. I need to put a lift in, but I'd like to maybe put this over in this corner. No, I don't want that in the corner because then if I'm using the vise, it's going to get hit on the wall. So let's put that right in the center. And then we'll just take these tables. And we'll align them around. And you can see, again, with super strength on or uh you know any of the available um super strength options you can move these things and you just kind of got to get them where you want them i've always had problems with the mouse i think there is like a precision hand tool you can buy or download that's all platform and it just gives you very precise uh, movement on your mouse. I haven't downloaded it yet. Maybe I should give it a try. Put this here. Kind of want this to like butt up to there. So we'll do that, and then we'll move this over. Yeah. And the collisions actually help you a little bit here because you can like push it up, really push it over, and it hits the collisions on the building the back wall there and the collisions of the actual object and then you know they're pretty straight that's not terrible uh what should we oh i got another table don't i hmm well we can do this so let's grab this table show you what we can do here bring this in let's put this down over here at the end like that. Now let's grab our air compressor. And we'll put that right here in the center. And I might be able to squeak the press in there as well. So I don't think I would put it on a table. I think I'd ideally have it uh, bolted to the ground. So we'll put that right there. Like that. And the drill press. Now, the drill press I will take. And I will put that on top of one of those tables. Put 
Uh, and I might, I'd probably have that down here because I'd be working mostly down here. Whoa. Put that right there. Excellent. Okay, what else do we have to put in? Oh, yeah. Is this uh, my welder? Yep, MIG welder. And this is, you know, portable. You can roll this around wherever you want. We can just kind of tuck it off back there. I did put lights in this barn. So this barn is available from the in-game mod hub. It's available for all platforms. It's a really nice barn, actually, but it doesn't have any lights inside. So I used another mod that is, once again, available on the in-game mod hub. Uh, and you can put lights on your walls, which is really nice. And, you know, we'll go into Easy Dev. We'll change the time of day, and I'll show you what that looks like. But we still have to move this. i got to make sure I align it correctly, and all those things stay on there. That would be a nightmare if they fell off. Could you imagine that, having to, like, pick them up one at a time? Where do I want to put this? Uh, Maybe on this back wall right here. Yeah, let me do that. Maybe move it over, line it up with that post. Like that. Now, you're asking the question, is this available for all platforms? And the answer is no, unfortunately. I am sorry. I get it. I get the frustration. This is available for Mac or PC only. Um... You can still build a fun, like, garage, car center, man cave, or woman cave, um, whatever you want to do. I know many ladies out there that love the cars. That is okay by me. Um, but if you're on a console, you're just limited. And I get it. It's frustrating. It sucks. Will it ever get better? I don't know. I doubt it, honestly, if I'm be honest. Um, you just, Giants can't get the, the branding or the licensing for things for, for all platforms. That's really what it comes down to. And the scripting. Scripting is very difficult. Um, impossible on console. Now, here, this is cool. So let's take this, our engine stand, and watch what we can do here. We can put this right on the back bell housing of this. We can pick this motor up or engine, excuse me, and we can lift it up right to the back of the connection point. And look, it goes right on the engine stand. A very, very nice touch. We can bring this in. This could maybe be like the engine out of this truck if I ever blow it up, or maybe I'm rebuilding it. Maybe it's got the stock like 5.7 in it, and we're going to do a little, little horsepower uh, tweaking to it, blueprint it out. Get some more horses. Put that right there. Okay. Uh, what else? I got my nitrous bottle. Cannot forget about that. A little nitrous express. Just in case we need a little help in the horsepower department. And I hear that Hubbard uh, Raceway is uh, reopening soon. They've got a quarter mile track out there. It's kind of far from the farm, but that's okay. Uh, we might be able to take some of these vehicles out and see what they do on, like, a run with your brung night. Uh, since we are getting into the fall season, the nice, cool weather. Uh, lovely for horsepower. Come on. I want to, like, not throw my nitrous bottle. I would like to rotate it. Rotate it up. There we go. Very nice. Drop that down, and it's not going to do it. This is just one of those things where it, it, it's just patience. There we go. But now I can't see my nitrous sign. I want to see the nitrous. Can I rotate this? Yes, there we go. Nice. Uh, and then what else? I need my jack. And this, again, I've mentioned it. This is a working jack. What do I mean by that? Well, let's drop it down. I did have an issue with this on my Mac, so I have no clue if it will lose its mind here or not. But let's grab the Trans Am. We hop in here. Turn off Super Strength. 
Let's go in here and grab the Trans Am. Beautiful Lingenfelter 383. It's an automatic car. It's got a built 4L60 in it. Uh, you know, I wish it was a 6 speed, but that's okay. No worries. We deal with it. Lingenfelter does a really nice job uh, with the reliability, so I'm not too worried. Now, I think you come into the jack. You have to start it because it's like a vehicle. And you can push it over. Just like that. And then you can... There you go. Oh, oh no. That would have destroyed my... That would have destroyed my door. Let's go a little further up. This is a unibody vehicle, so we got to make sure we hit those jack points correctly. There we go. Let's just leave it there. And then you come out of the vehicle, and you can see it does. It, it, it has some collisions on it, some jack points. Really, really cool. Uh, what you can do... I wonder, actually, could you, like... Let's just try something. So it's still on. Let me put it down. Can I go into first person? I can. That's cool. So you can go into first person mode. And these are those jacks that they weigh like a million pounds. I always end up crushing my hands on these at home where I'm trying to move them around my garage and they get caught on something. And they also make like the most noise in the world. Um, you wake everybody up. It's 2 a.m. You're working on your car. <laughs> And everybody knows it. Okay, let's see if we can jack. Yes, we can. So you could come in here, put that up like that. Now we come out. We got the wheels off the ground. Maybe we were doing a... Maybe we, we, we were on the bottom of the pumpkin, so the rear differential. And we were going to listen for some, like, maybe a little bit of, uh, you know, gear wine back there. Some differential wine. Let's see if we can put it in drive and spin these tires. Yes! We can. Check that out. Very, very cool. It's almost like a dyno. We can get under there. Replace that gear oil. Gotta put a limited slip diff uh, additive in it. You know. Very, very nice. Turn that off. Don't get under there. Okay, let me get back on this. Drop this down. But you can see some just really cool interactive um, uh, objects. Big kudos to Mafia Mods for doing what they did here. You put that in reverse, back this out, and you can have so much fun. This is, so candidly, one of the really nice things when you get to the end of um, the useful uh, or the service life of a game, and that's kind of where we're at with FS22. You know, we're waiting for FS25 to come out. You kind of have the best of the best. Modders have had years to really master their craft, um, make some of these mods just pinpoint accurate. That's where I get a little sad. You know, while a new game is coming out and it'll be exciting, I'm hoping that for our modders out there that it's not too difficult to get things brought over because, gosh, you spend so many hours working uh, on a mod, and then the new version of the game comes out, and I hope you don't have to start over. All right. We're not done yet, folks. We still need... I want a lift. I've got to have a lift. Let's find a lift that we like. And there are some pretty decent lifts. Will that fit in here? I do... I kind of like a lift like this. I don't like the post lifts. They're, I'm not good with them. I feel like they... You know, you miss one of the points that you put on the vehicle, and then as you're jacking up the car, uh, it falls down. Let me back this up. Put this over here. There we go. Come back out and go back, and now we do have to go into the uh, map editor uh, to choose our lift. So it's in tools. And again, I like this lift. Um, maybe try to get it back as far as we can. Turn off that overlapping so we can free place it anywhere we want. Drop that down right there. 
very, very nice. I like that a lot. And then over here, this is maybe a good area for uh, like an interior wash bay. Let's see what we can do. A couple of things we might be able to do. Let me go into silos. One of the um, silo packs that I use has a straight wall on it. Did I get rid of that? I might have gotten rid of that. You know, uh, so many mods, sometimes you inadvertently or accidentally delete something. Oh, no, it's right there. Not going to work. Why? Because silos, they, most of them are locked to the 90 degree uh, perspective uh, of the map. So that's okay. Let's go into decorative items and see if we have anything that will work in here. That could be a wall. We've got this wall, but that's way too big. That's for like bridge embankments, and um, I think we built the convoy nuclear power plant with those. That is awfully big as well. Way too big. Uh, let's see here. I might just have to suck it up, Buttercup, and not put a wall in. Although we could put a K rail in, I guess. We've got some of those concrete walls. I think they're base game, if I'm not mistaken. Come back in there. They're all the way in the back. All the way in the back. Yes, they are. They're over here. Oh, well, maybe I'm completely mistaken. As we scroll through everything that I've got, I'm certain that I have. Oh, you know, while we're here, I mean, we're absolutely going to need some type of trash uh, in the garage. Put that right there at the front. Right by the door. Shop area is restricted. All right, so what that what that means is I, I've got the store deliveries mod on so that would not allow would not let me put it down because the shop area was restricted. And now, of course, I go in here and I'm back in the front. So that's okay. Uh, maybe I can find those K-Rails now. Uh, doo -doo -doo. I could just put... <laughs> could just put a berm up to capture the water. Let's try this. Uh, this is a really cool concrete curb pack that's out, and I don't know if I'll be good enough to do it. But you can come in and you can build like a a curb. Uh, let's see here. But it's super tough because you can't actually go all the way in the dang garage. Because we know it's got a top on it. It's got a roof. And the collisions get in the way. And I guess I could use the no collision camera. And that is not going to let me do it. Or maybe it will. I just have to be super... No, it's not. I, I cannot get back there. To put that in. Oh, you know, I think I've got... Hold on. I think I was going the wrong way with it. There we go. So I can push that back all the way to there, or I can just go like this. That. And then... This is where you just really kind of have to guess. Kind of feels right. We'll we'll zoom in and see. Uh, nah, I'm, I'm off. But we can fix that. Back in here. Now I'm in the way. This is actually something I would really love to see uh, 
changed in 25 in these build mode where it'd be easier to um, to place items inside of other items. So I think I was there and I'm gonna go maybe to there. Let's just go with it. What the heck? Rotate that. And then come in here. Okay. Did that work? Let's see. Not really. Not really that back. But you know what we can do? This is where progress over perfection is important. Let's just come in. Let's grab our, our character. I never can pronounce that name. Turn that around. Let's just put this on this back wall. That's really, really large, though. Run there. Let's maybe grab the base game one. Just stick that like right there. And then in decorations, we can put some like uh, channels to get rid of water. I know I have them. Yeah, they're right here. And they'd probably be kind of rusted. So we'll put these right there. And right there. And that... I don't like that at all. That's way off, Stover. Come on. Some things I'm okay with, like, yeah, it's off. It's ever so slightly off. Other things, no. Cannot stand for that. Here, now I gotta go find again. Sometimes it helps to increase your angle of, a, of, of view here. So you can kind of see the plane that you're working on. So description or decorations. Let's find those water troughs once again. Or water, there they are. Rusty water channel. That is a about what the door is. So we could, you know, we could probably just put one in here and that would be completely fine. Right there. Now let's take a look at it. Yeah, that's fine. So water's not going to pool. It's not going to go out um, on the other cars. If we wanted to, we, you know what we could do? Um, I think if I go in, I think Mafia Mob actually has some they're like weld curtains let's see if we can buy a couple of these maybe like stick this Right there, just to, you know, keep the water, the splashback off of my GNX. It's going to go on that lift. GNX probably on the top. Trans Am probably on the bottom. Um, and then we'll throw the old CK2500 over here for the time being. I need a motorcycle, too, I think. That, that works. That's okay. I'm okay with that. That works. Let's pull these cars in. So let me turn off Super Strength and grab the CK2500. And you might have questions like, where did I find these? I'll be candid. This particular truck is out there everywhere. There's so many versions of it. Some of them are really, really bad. Some of them are really, really good. I found this on fs22.com. I think if I had to guess... It is a... Someone has taken it and redone it. D2 
Diesel Division Customs might have done this initially. Um, I, I, you'll just have to look yourself. It's it's out there. It's everywhere. Again, some of them are not great. Others uh, are much, much better. I actually think the GM service truck that is out there, the front cab and mechanicals are one of the better versions of the square body GM style. If we could get that front end, so the mechanics, the chassis, uh, interior, etc., and then get like a just standard bed body on the back of it instead of that service bed, it'd probably be one of the better mods of a, you know, mid-90s uh, Chevrolet or GMC uh, CK2500. Uh, but I don't know. Again, you know, modders, sometimes they don't want to release other things, and that's totally fine. It's their prerogative. We'll raise that up, put the GNX up high, and then we'll go grab the Lingenfelter Trans Am. And why do they make it a Lingenfelter Trans Am? Well, I'm in Indiana. I live in uh, Indianapolis, and... Um, was always a huge fan of Lingenfelter Performance Engineering. John Lingenfelter in Decatur, Indiana. He's uh, passed away many years ago, unfortunately, due to complications in surgery where uh, it was a drag racing incident, but used to make some of the um, badass GMF bodies and Corvettes, um, similar to a Callaway. But I, I always liked Lingenfelter better. He was very soft spoken. There's videos out there of him with his cars. He just let the cars do the talking. Uh, and uh, talking they did. They were some of the most powerful out there at the time. And they were very, very reliable. So, always love a good Lingenfelter car. And that's it. That is my uh, car man cave. And I think it turned out pretty well. I like it. You could certainly duplicate it. You could make it better. You could go bigger. Uh, it's totally up to you. And that is the beauty of Farm Sim. So just a nice, soft, easy Sunday build. Hope you enjoyed it. Goes to show you, you don't always necessarily have to be in the map editor to make something custom here. We were bought, buying things and putting them in the building ourselves. So much more to do on the Stover Farm here uh, in Hubbard, Nebraska. Over a thousand acres of land, actual thousand acres of land not the stover miscalculated thousand acres of land we're getting ready for fall harvest so we'll see you next time right here on the farm with the stovers mm -hmm.